Let's be real, Invincible Season 3 will be one of the greatest pieces of cape shit yet. And after reading the comics, because I ain't waiting 500 years for Season 3. Especially reading from where Season 2 leaves off, I had to make a video about this. And of course, capitalize on the YouTube algorithm, because my Invincible Season 2 review did well. With the most amount of dislikes I've seen in my life. And honestly, I love it. I appreciate the engagement, y'all. But let's talk about Season 3's possibilities and why they're so exciting. So obviously, heavy spoilers for the show and the comic. First, gotta address where Season 2 ends off with Mark and Eve, which I need them to get together soon for my sake, because they're one of my favorite comic book couples out there. And damn it, I just want to see Mark happy for once. As frustrating as it was for Mark not to spill to Eve at the end of the finale, I really feel for Mark. He had a crazy 24 hours, breaking up with Amber, fighting another Viltrumite, and killing, quote unquote, the man who threatened Debbie and baby Oliver. So I don't blame him for not spilling to Eve. But my man Mark gotta lock in with Eve in season three. And please don't make me wait for most of season three for Mark and Eve to get together. At most, please just be like a mid-season thing where they actually get together, because I can't wait for most of seven episodes for them to get together. Like, this should not be a finale thing. And I just need proof that love exists, damn it. I just need an Adam Eve in my life. And I actually need more Britta in my life too. <laughs> Next, the potential storylines are so exciting. From Cecil's betrayal, the invincible war, Conquest of the Rival, and Omni-Man and Alan's Prison Break. Those are the, really the main events that I know of in the comics. There's also little small stories, like with Wolfman and Powerplex. Those characters bring a lot, especially Powerplex. Powerplex is literally the consequence and response of Mark and Omni-Man's fight in Season 1. It's just really exciting there. Really exciting stuff. Which some of these storylines change the status quo to an extent. Especially with Mark and Cecil and their fallout. And it really intrigues me how they handle Cecil in Season 3. Because he feels far more nuanced in the show and really far more human. Cecil's a lot better in the show than he was in the comic. That's just a fact. So for Cecil to betray Mark in the storyline has to feel justified. And don't get me started on the Invincible War because as good as it was in the comics, it can definitely be fleshed out in the show. Like how they fleshed out Angstrom Levy in season two and they did a far better job at fleshing him out than they did in the comics. So I hope they do the same thing with the Invincible War and I can't wait to see all those Invincibles and how they interact with our main Invincible. I truly expect some emotional and physical brutality in this season. Which, speaking of brutality, the Conquest fight will break the internet. I have no doubt about that. I'm betting that that'll be the Season 3's finale, and I just can't wait for that fight to be animated. Ugh, the potential. It's probably going to be, if it's animated well and it all goes according to plan and follows the comics and even expands upon it, it'll be the best superhero fight out there. I, and if it were to fan cast Conquest, I'd love for Josh Bowen to voice him. Because damn it, when I see Conquest's arm, I think of the Infinity Gauntlet. So give me Josh Bowen as Conquest now. Then, as exciting as all of these storylines are, the most intriguing aspect of Season 3 is how Mark evolves as a character. Especially in these storylines where there's a reason why people are hyping up the blue and black Invincible suit. Because it's a change in the era. We see an idealistic kid who's trying his best to be optimistic, but what if he embraced his darker side? Embrace what he believes his father and the Viltrumites to be. And it just feels like a ride for Mark. Not like that. A ride that I don't really want to be a part of. The character progression for Mark is so interesting in the comics. But I do believe it can be improved on in the show and be even better. And finally, Season 3 will be peak. Because I feel like they have to go all out. Especially with Season 3 of Invincible being the last greenlit season of Invincible. Obviously, it won't be the last season. Unless Amazon is legit incompetent and can't see they have a hit on their hands. But hey, Amazon show they can be stupid with their stupid fucking mid-season break. But yeah, truly, with all of these big, brutal, and amazing storylines, the show should not hold back at all. And I hope they don't. Overall, if the show adapts the comics closely, Invincible Season 3 will be one of the greatest pieces of cape shit yet. On par with Netflix's Daredevil, The Boys, The Batman, The Dark Knight, Spider-Man 2, The Spider-Verse films, because it'll have one of the greatest comic book couples finally getting together, the brutally amazing storylines, and Mark's insane character progression. And Invincible already has a great advantage by having already great source material that if necessary, they can improve on the comics with the show. Where I truly believe that if the show adapts the rest of the comic well and even improves upon it, it'll be simply the best comic book show of all time. And I'll put my money on it.